Investing for Beginners 10 Simple Steps to Financial Freedom Do you want to stop worrying about money and start building real wealth? Here are 10 simple steps to financial freedom that anyone can follow. Welcome to my channel, where today, we're diving into the essentials of investing for beginners. This video provides a clear, actionable roadmap to achieve financial freedom through smart investing. My name is HG, and I've spent years studying and implementing these strategies. Today I'm going to share with you everything I've learned, broken down into 10 easy-to-follow steps. So grab a notebook and get ready to embark on your path to financial freedom. Setting clear financial goals is the cornerstone of smart investing. Without a clear goal, it's like setting sail without a destination. You'll just drift aimlessly. Identify what you want to achieve financially, both short-term and long-term. Are you saving for a new car, a dream vacation, or financial independence? Short-term goals are things you want to achieve within one to five years. Long-term goals might include saving for retirement or achieving financial freedom. Write these goals down and be specific. This clarity will give you a target to aim for and keep you motivated. Before diving headfirst into investing, it's crucial to build a savings cushion, also known as an emergency fund. This fund acts as a safety net ensuring that you're covered in case of unexpected expenses like medical bills or car repairs. Think of it as the foundation upon which your investment portfolio is built. Without it, you risk having to sell off investments prematurely to cover emergencies. Start by setting aside a percentage of your income each month until you've accumulated three to six months worth of living expenses. This might sound daunting, but consider it a non-negotiable step. How to invest wisely starts with preparation and having an emergency fund is a key part of that preparation. Automate your savings if possible. Set up an automatic transfer from your checking account to a high-yield savings account every payday. This way you'll consistently build your cushion without having to think about it. Remember, your emergency fund should be easily accessible but not too tempting to dip into for non-emergencies. Now that you've set financial goals and built a savings cushion, it's time to dive into the world of stock market investing. For beginners, the stock market can seem like a labyrinth of confusing terms and risky bets. But don't worry, we'll break it down into manageable pieces. Let's start with some basic terminology. Stocks represent ownership in a company. When you buy a stock, you're essentially buying a small piece of that company. Dividends are portions of a company's earnings distributed to shareholders. ETFs or exchange-traded funds and mutual funds allow you to invest in a diversified portfolio of stocks without having to pick individual investments. These instruments can be a great way to start as they spread your risk across many companies. Understanding how to invest in stocks and the stock market for beginners is crucial. Stocks have historically provided higher returns than other asset classes, making them a powerful tool for wealth building. Begin by researching companies you believe in and understand. Start small, and as you get more comfortable, you can gradually increase your investments. Now that you've set financial goals and built a savings cushion, it's time to dive into the world of stock market investing. For beginners, the stock market can seem like a labyrinth of confusing terms and risky bets. But don't worry, we'll break it down into manageable pieces. Let's start with some basic terminology. Stocks represent ownership in a company. When you buy a stock, you're essentially buying a small piece of that company. Dividends are portions of a company's earnings distributed to shareholders. ETFs or exchange-traded funds and mutual funds allow you to invest in a diversified portfolio of stocks without having to pick individual investments. These instruments can be a great way to start as they spread your risk across many companies. Understanding how to invest in stocks and the stock market for beginners is crucial. Stocks have historically provided higher returns than other asset classes, making them a powerful tool for wealth building. Begin by researching companies you believe in and understand. Start small, and as you get more comfortable, you can gradually increase your investments. Start with real estate investing. Real estate investing is another fantastic pathway to financial freedom, and the good news is, you don't need to be a millionaire to get started. Real estate offers various entry points, from owning rental properties to investing in REITs or real estate investment trusts. Let's explore these options. If you have some capital saved up, consider buying a rental property. This could be a single-family home or a multi-unit building. Rental properties generate income through monthly rent payments and, over time, the property value can appreciate. This dual income potential makes real estate an attractive long-term investment. For those with limited capital, REITs are a great alternative. REITs allow you to invest in real estate without actually owning physical property. 
they operate like mutual funds, pooling investor money to buy and manage real estate assets. This way, you can enjoy the benefits of real estate investing without the hassle of property management. Diversify your investments. Diversification is a critical concept in investing. You've probably heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. This principle is the essence of diversification. By spreading your investments across various asset classes, you minimize the risk of any single investment dragging down your entire portfolio. Consider investing in a mix of stocks, bonds, real estate, and other assets. Each asset class reacts differently to market conditions, so when one is down, another might be up. This balance helps protect your investments from market volatility. Take a cue from Warren Buffett, who advocates for diversification to mitigate risks while still seeking growth opportunities. For beginners, mutual funds and ETFs are excellent tools for diversification. These funds hold a variety of investments providing instant diversification with a single purchase. Remember, the goal is to create a balanced portfolio that aligns with your risk tolerance and financial goals. Understand risk and time horizon. Every investment carries some level of risk, but not all risks are created equal. Understanding the different types of risks and your time horizon is essential for making informed investment decisions. Let's break this down. Risk refers to the potential for losing some or all of your investment. Stocks, for example, are generally riskier than bonds, but they also offer higher potential returns. Your time horizon, or the length of time you plan to hold an investment, plays a significant role in managing risk. The longer your time horizon, the more risk you can typically afford to take on. For long-term goals like retirement, you might invest more heavily in stocks, which can provide substantial growth over time. For short-term goals, safer investments like bonds or high-yield savings accounts might be more appropriate. Remember, financial freedom is a marathon, not a sprint. By aligning your investments with your time horizon, you can reduce risk and stay on track toward your financial goals. Automate your investments. One of the best ways to ensure consistent growth in your investment portfolio is to automate your investments. Automation removes the emotional decision-making that often leads to poor investment choices. It ensures that you're regularly investing without having to think about it. Many brokerage accounts and investment apps offer automatic investment options. You can set up recurring transfers from your checking account to your investment account, ensuring that a portion of your income is consistently invested. This strategy is particularly effective for beginners as it promotes discipline and consistency. By automating your investments, you take advantage of dollar cost averaging, a strategy where you invest a fixed amount of money at regular intervals. This approach reduces the impact of market volatility and can lead to better long-term returns. Remember, the key to building wealth is consistency, and automation makes it easier to stay on track. Investing is not a set-it-and-forget-it endeavor. Regularly reviewing and adjusting your portfolio is crucial to ensure it remains aligned with your financial goals and risk tolerance. Markets change and so do your life circumstances, so periodic check-ins are essential. I recommend reviewing your portfolio at least once a year. Look at how your investments have performed and assess whether they still align with your goals. If certain investments have significantly outperformed others, you might need to rebalance your portfolio to maintain your desired asset allocation. Rebalancing involves selling some of your overperforming assets and buying more of your underperforming ones. This process ensures that you're not taking on more risk than you're comfortable with. Remember, the goal is to stay diversified and aligned with your financial plan. Market fluctuations are a natural part of investing. While it can be tempting to sell off your investments during a market downturn, it's crucial to stay committed to your long-term strategy. Remember, financial freedom is not achieved overnight. It's a long-term goal that requires patience and perseverance. Warren Buffett often emphasizes the importance of staying in the market even during downturns. Historical data shows that markets tend to recover over time, and those who stay invested are often rewarded. Selling in a panic can lock in losses and derail your financial plan. Instead of reacting to short-term market movements, focus on your long-term goals. Keep in mind that your investment time horizon is likely measured in decades, not months. By staying committed and avoiding emotional decisions, you'll be better positioned to achieve financial freedom. Finally, it's important to celebrate the small wins along your investment journey. Each milestone, whether it's your first dividend payment or hitting a savings target, is a step closer to financial freedom. Acknowledge these achievements to stay motivated and focused on your long-term goals. Continuous learning is also crucial. The world of investing is constantly evolving, 
and staying informed will help you make better decisions. Read books, listen to podcasts, and watch videos like this one to expand your knowledge. The more you learn, the more confident you'll become in your investment choices. Remember, investing is a lifelong journey. By celebrating your progress and committing to ongoing education, you'll be well equipped to navigate the path to financial freedom. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more investing tips and strategies. Congratulations! You've just taken the first step towards building real wealth and achieving financial freedom. By following these 10 simple steps, you're setting yourself up for a brighter financial future. Remember, the journey to financial independence is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay committed, stay informed, and most importantly, stay invested. Which of these steps are you starting today? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about your progress and any questions you might have. Your engagement helps build a community where we can all learn and grow together. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more investing tips and strategies. Let's continue this journey together, one step at a time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.